Welcome again to Fit for Dermoscopy. And in this chapter, we talk about angioma and angiokeratoma. You know the diagnostic eye, and you have seen so many um, differential diagnoses in dermoscopy. So today, angioma and angiokeratoma. And we know these lesions, yeah, they are smooth and a little bit elevated in palpation. And we know it also from the different type of colors. These are the colors are depending on the location of angioma. So here in the middle, on the left hand side, we see a clear, very fresh red. That means it's just underneath the basal membrane and with a lot of oxygen. And on the right hand side, we see it a little bit more bluish. Yeah? So that means deeper in the dermis and perhaps less oxygen. So that means we can just see, depending on the colors, where is the angioma located. So typical lacunas, we call these lacunas or bigger globules and angioma. The angiomas can be presented in different sizes, different colors, so very early, yeah, just underneath the basal membrane and a little bit cherry-like. And we, you see much more white lines, which is typical or can be seen in angiomas and all, only in polarization light, you know this, and more cherry, more elevated, or also a little bit cherry, but more located in the dermis. The most important differential di diagnosis, especially here on the right hand side, is always to think about and to exclude the melanoma, the nodular dermal melanoma. Yeah? So here from the um, dermoscopic features, they are regular, um, homogeneous. Uh, so considering the white lines, yes, but it is regular, homogeneous. Yeah? In a, um, dermal melanoma or even metastasis, it would be a different pattern of the melanoma, which you have seen before and you also will see in the future. Angiomas can also be irritated, yeah? And then it's a little bit tricky, left-hand side, yeah? It is still benign, yes or no? So look at the lesion, it is homogeneous in the surrounding, a little bit reddish, yeah? And here also, deeper located angioma and with a lot of irritated, um, so like a sugillation, bleeding just inside either subepidermal or perhaps even epidermal, but nevertheless uh, only irritated. Also an irritated angioma right hand side with a little bit crusty area on the top, yeah, so that means it was a bleeding and now some crust, so just to tell the patient, stop scratching. There are lesions of angiomas in which you see crust just in the beginning. Yeah? You see very small lacunas or gl reddish globules and a little bit just starting um, growing here on this toe of this lady and uh, also smooth, elevated, but a little bit crusty in clinic, yeah, and you see this in dermoscopy, and now we know we have an angiokeratoma. That means this is a combination of angioma and starting on the top with some keratosis, yeah, and when it's big enough and long enough, it can be presented like this. So we have the problems here to detect the lacunas, just a little bit here at the periphery, perhaps here in the center, but we are not quite sure what it is. Yeah? So also think about why not also nodular melanoma. Yeah? So I cannot exclude, so I must do the excision to confirm it by histopathology. Angiokeratoma can also be presented like, nearly like an angioma, yeah? but not really crust presented now at this stage, but they will come, they will appear. Yeah? So all is possible here. So with this chapter, we will move to the next one, which is also very important to the granuloma pyogenicum. So see you soon. Bye bye.